Yeah, what the heck is doing? Your name? Valerie? Huh? Pepper Valerie? No, ma'am, sorry. Okay. Oh, that's you? Okay. Hey. How you doing, boss? Good. How are you doing? Your name? Bill. Alright. Yep. Just want to confirm. Where are you going to? Uh. Oh my god. The Mexican restaurant? Mi, mi Vida? 5th and. Uh, it's on 14th. 14th, 5th and T, T is in town. Yeah, their GPS I don't trust. You know? <laughs> yep. I was coming right way to pick you up. Yep. And then it was showing me you are on the back side. I yeah, made a I mean, U-turn. Yesterday when we got picked up, they kept coming in, um, on 1st Street. Mm -hmm. They kept parking there. It's hard because it's a brand new building. No, no, no. Address was right to yeah. pick you up. But their stupid GPS yeah. was throwing me off here and there. Okay. I made a right turn. I was on M and first corner when yep. I received your call. Yep. So simply, I came right over here to make a U-turn. Yep. Because it tells me you are back behind me. Yeah. I go all the way there. Yep. Then I make a U-turn again. And I didn't go with their direction. I actually look at your address like this. Nice. Okay, yeah, you are there. Yep. Okay. Now I don't care That's whatever fun. they are telling me. No, it makes absolutely no sense the way they are telling yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. Why would you do that? You see that? Yeah. Then I get stuck on uh, New Jersey Avenue, yep. which is a straight red line. Yep. Instead of I go over here, North Capitol, turn left, yeah, and on Florida Avenue. That's so weird. It's gonna cost me, but I want to save your time and mine. Jeez. They will get really pissed off. Then if you go off the route. Yeah. That's weird. But and you don't have a right to say it. Yeah. If you complain about me, like, oh, I told him to go this way, he didn't go there, that way. Yeah. Simply, in that situation, when they will contact me, yeah, I will tell them, isn't that the rule you guys made that I have to follow that stupid blue line? Yeah. You see, it is telling me to yeah, make, it's telling us turn around because now. they have charged you with that price. That's you know, yeah. now you get there faster, yep. they still keep that amount to you, but they will decrease my price. That's stupid. I'm going to lose the money, but I'm going to yeah. save my time and yours. That's crazy. And plus, I'm going to get... Which means that you can get another fare faster. Right? Yeah. It, they don't understand that thing. It's good for their company because yeah. their customers are getting picked up quickly. Yeah. And As many... They should reward you for getting there. Yeah. No. They reward us take my money off, yep. also send me a warning. Oh, for God's sake. 
like uh, upbreak some kind of uh, Jesus Christ law, you know? <laughs> yeah. The 11th commandment. Yeah. They charging customer way overpriced. Oh, yeah. And, and you know what happened? Like, for instance, I don't know whatever you are paying. Yeah, 16 bucks or something. I tell you how much I'm getting paid, no. you won't believe me. $2. No, no, not $2. It's way low. About $5. Oh, wow. $4.78. And now I'm going to get maybe less than $3. Get, <laughs> because I didn't listen to tips, them. When you get tips, do they take a portion of that no, too? No, they don't. Okay. But the thing is that, why are you going to pay the tip to me when you're going to say, okay, I'm paying $16 yeah. to go like a five minute ride. So it means the driver is getting at if I'm paying sixteen dollars, yep. maximum they will take it out four dollars out of yep. or five dollars out of it. So eleven dollar he's making. I don't need to give him a tip. That's crazy. Ninety percent. I say not ninety percent. Ninety five percent people they think that way. Crazy. Because a lot of people I talk to, that's what they say. They said we think that you guys are getting seventy five percent. Yeah. No, we are not. We are only getting 25 to 30 percent depending on if there's a surge in it or not. Yeah. Jeez. And that $4.78, I'm getting it because there was a $2 surge in there. Jeez. Oh, stupid old, stupid old. It's not six yet. And I'm in 6.30, so I've got to make a legal left turn. No, I will make it legal. These are the perks of being an ex-DC cab driver. <laughs> you know all the, know the whole thing. That's why I ask you, where are you going? I don't want to listen to yeah. them. Yeah. Left, pretty much left an Uber killed cabbing. Oh, completely zero. Yeah. Look at yourself, you know. Yeah. Well, it's funny cause because my parents, we we were in California uh -huh. um, last week, and was, we just left my vehicle at the airport. And my parents took they took a cab, and it was like five bucks for them. Mm -hmm. It was super cheap for them to call a cab. Yeah. It's like, oh, maybe I should start doing cabs again. Honestly, if you are at the airport, yeah, do not take Uber or Lyft. Yeah, they I will. I'm suggesting you because whatever they will charge you, mm -hmm. because no matter what time you are coming at the airport, yeah, Uber or Lyft, they always have surcharge going on. Yep. To you guys, not to us. Yep. They give us a surcharge at that time when they see only three cars left Jeez. at the airport. If they have five, there's they don't even give surge up to them, That's you know? Crazy. So, but on the other hand, if you take a cab from the airport, yeah. I swear you are paying three times less than Jeez. paying them. That's crazy. And cabs take the credit card you yep. are paying by the credit to them pay by the credit card to the driver and plus you don't have to wait for that stupid at the airport that to come inside yep. to pick you up from specially terminal 3 B and C 2 and 3 you know now they change it 2 and 3 yeah. so before that B and C you know because police is dictating over there, at, especially at the busy time of the airport, and they shut down lanes over there. Oh my gosh. And then you are standing way back there to get your turn to get into that lane to get inside. And then you are trying to find which one is yours, which one is yours, you know? Yeah. And on top of it, you are paying more money, then you can save all that money by just step outside, and there are line of the cabs yep. standing for you jump in, and, tell jump in and go 
straight to the home. Because air, at airports, they charge customers like way extra more because automatically people think that yep. it's going to be very busy at the airport so it's hard to get a Uber at this time so that's why they are charging this much money. It's crazy. It's good to know. I really, really hate them. And especially with the, nowadays they start doing the upfront prices which is absolutely illegal. Wait, what's the upfront? Like they tell me that much they're gonna pay me for this ride. Oh yeah. This is ridiculous. How you can tell me how much you're gonna or to tell me that much you're gonna get paid yep. for this fare when you don't know how long it's gonna take me to get there. Yep. Or maybe the customer wanted to have the have his own route. Customer wanted to go yeah, a different way. See something scenic on the way or, or just you might have your own shortest way which yep. I don't know about it and you know about it you know and if I don't follow that their rule like I told you in the starting then they will take my money away come on woman move God forbid, during rush time, rush hour, it's always a chance of having an accident anyway, oh, yeah. you know? If accident happen on the way and I get stuck over there, how are you going to pay me? You, yeah. you know, how you can explain my paying at that time? But no, you are getting that stupid $4, whatever it yeah. is. But on the other hand, they're your time is on. Yep. They're gonna charge you <laughs> that time too. That's crazy. Like so far, I pick up, I think, four customers. You are my fifth. Okay. Besides, bef besides you, before all the four customers. None of them have given a single penny tip. Jeez. The reason, like I told you, short fingers. No, 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 no. Thinking seventy-five percent yeah. he's getting. Yeah. Because I'm paying that much money. Before that, when fair used to get it after dropping you off, you know, yeah. then we knew what we are getting, and. Uh, we used to go into the log to see how much they charge you. We were able to see. Now, now, it's, now it's all hidden. Jeez. It's like behind the door. Is what are they? Uber and Lyft doing the same thing. Yes, sir. Okay. First Uber started, then okay. obviously the Lyft had to follow. Yep. How fast is this way? Yeah. Again, like 14th is no left turn at this time. I'm gonna take 13, swipe right from there. See, these things you get it when you're a cab driver. Yep. Nowadays, you are dealing with Tom, Dick, and Harry driving Uber and Lyft. Yep. So they follow exactly what they are telling them to do. Yep. See, all red, why should I stand over here? When I can go through a street in between T and U. It's a one way going towards the 14th. It's, it's, it's 
See, it's telling how much time and 0.2 miles and all that. Like I can use that alley. Yep. I can see this is the best way. Before that, it was telling us five minutes. Now it turned into one minute. Oh, they're gonna hate me so much. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 100% getting a warning today. Gosh. Because you gotta hit the three strikes yep. before you get the first warning. And the fourth, you are suspended for 24 hours. That's why I don't work during this time. Yeah. But now you don't make any money. I have no choice but to come at this time. Hey, your boss. Alrighty. You are at this restaurant. Sweet. Thank you much. Thank Take you care. So much. I hope I didn't buy too much here. No, I loved it. <laughs> have a great night. Take care.